Hey, what's up guys? Synapse here. This is going to be a new tutorial series. I'm going to show you basically all the techniques I use in my videos. Some people tell me you shouldn't share your video editing secrets because then other people are going to copy you. Synapse doesn't keep any secrets. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So I'm going to give you guys all the tips and tricks that you need to know to make these videos. Let's get started. We're going to start this off with some of the techniques I use to make Symetheus. A lot of people were asking me, did you actually recreate the entire Stormwind? I used a program called Machinima Studio. Machinima Studio has a free trial, but you have to pay for it after the trial is over. Up at the top left, there is a Maps tab. You can basically extract any part of the entire WoW map. So when I figure out what I want to extract, and it's going to be Azeroth, Stormwind is in Azeroth, right? I ended up finding it. So I select the map that I want to extract. I right click on it and I click export. In the map exporter, I select waveform OBJ. All right, so I'm going to be exporting this to Cinema 4D. Hang with me here. The next step is going to be Cinema 4D, but we're not there yet. And I'm going to select a bunch of these boxes because I want it to export all the information. So I select all of these things. Under the model exporter, it's really important that everything is selected right there. You got to select FBX. FBX is going to make it much easier for the textures later on. You'll see why. So I select FBX and I select all that stuff. I want to export all of the WMO. And under the batch export tab, this gives me the option to export multiple areas of the map. I want to export all of Stormwind, not just part of it. Then I'm going to click that export button, choose where I want to save it. Machinima Studio hooks us up. Now I'm in Cinema 4D. I'm going to show you the easy way. I open up Cinema 4D. I go to the content browser. I navigate to the folder that I saved all that stuff to. All right, so I'm pretty much just browsing through it. Got to click through it and find the folder. Here it is. Scroll down to the FBX files. All of these files are the Stormwind models. I'm going to select them all. I'm rebuilding the entire Stormwind. So I just select a pretty big chunk, maybe like a dozen or so. What I do is I right click on them and I select merge. But this technique is the merge technique. It's going to allow me to merge all of them together. Because they're saved in FBX, it opens up this FBX window. I just check all that stuff and I basically just click OK a bunch of times for each one I open. I select them all. I group them. I parent them to a null object, which just means I group them all together. And I copy that object and I'm going to paste them into a master file. I'm going to build one file. It's going to have all of Stormwind in it in 3D, every single piece of Stormwind. So this is the master file right here. When I paste it, a window pops up about the materials and I just click OK. I'm going to actually put all the materials in one folder to keep them all together. And basically I just keep doing this. I go to the content browser, I merge a couple of dozen files together, I copy them and I paste them into the master Stormwind file. What makes this work is the location of each object is conserved when I copy and paste. So as I copy and paste everything into the master file, um, they are pasted in the correct location and orientation. They're going to go into the right spot when you paste them. And you can see when I paste it, that giant chunk of city just basically pastes into the right spot. I had to rebuild Stormwind. And not only Stormwind, I had to rebuild Ironforge. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to export 3D characters from WoW Model Viewer into Cinema 4D. Basically, the biggest request I've had for a tutorial is how to export a 3D character into Cinema 4D. Stay tuned to the channel because I'm going to show you more of these short tutorials. I'm going to give you the secrets to improve the quality of your YouTube videos. See you guys later. Good luck and have fun.